Hi everyone and welcome again to Adam's Fishing and welcome to my shed on this gloomy evening. Um, the reason you join me in the shed today and not on the bank fishing somewhere is because I wanted to share something with you and that is a new camera that I've got for filming. Something which I really think is going to add to the channel and add to the videos that I'm able to bring to you guys and I'm going to give you all the details about that in just a second. The reason I'm in the shed and not in the comfort of my own home is because apparently I'm too loud and would wake the kids up. So hey, we're in the shed but it's not too bad, at least it's dry. Um, I, want, I want to show you this camera, I'm really excited because I haven't even opened the box yet so this is going to be a good old fashioned unboxing, show you what I've bought, um, explain what it's all about and, and learn a little bit about it along the way as well, ready for when I do get out on the bank and, uh, and hopefully do a bit of fishing. So uh, let's show you what I've got. All right, everyone, weird camera angle, I know, but here it is. It is the um, GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition. It is the latest and greatest thing from GoPro. I've never had anything this sophisticated or indeed this expensive for filming with before, but I just couldn't resist. Um, some awesome features that I've heard about with this, um, one of which which really caught my eye was the uh, image stabilisation feature. So if I'm walking along the bank and want to film something sort of in a mobile way, um, then this will electronically stabilise an image for me, hopefully to make it more appealing to you guys, the viewer. Um, it's also waterproof up to 10 metres, so it's going to help me with hopefully some underwater shots, which is something I'm really looking forward to bringing to you guys, as well as the fact that straight away, first impressions, it's incredibly tiny, very small, obviously very lightweight, um, and therefore really good for capturing exactly what it's designed for, which is action shots. So I might be able to wear this on my head or wear this on my chest um, and get some images of, um, of the action, such as it is um, when it does unfold. So uh, I'm gonna move this camera angle, um, get, the, get the camera behind me um, filming towards the GoPro um, and explain uh, a, a little bit more about it as I open the box. So uh, let's see what's inside. All right, folks, well, here it is, um, the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Um, comes in a very neat little box to start with. Um, minimalist packaging, I'd say. They haven't gone, they haven't gone with a great big box. Um, it's a relatively small box. I'm guessing there's um, something inside this end to charge it with or to charge the battery with. Um, and the camera itself is displayed at the top in this sort of like perspex case, which is quite neat. Um, looks like the way to open it is on the bottom here. There's a tear strip, so let's tear that and see what we've got. There it is. So there's the camera itself, which is mounted on a little sort of uh, black plastic plinth on top of the box here. And uh, in the box it looks like there's an adhesive mount here, curved mount, um, for mounting the camera on whatever I suppose. There is a, a USB charging cable. There is a dinky little battery. And then on top we've got the uh, we've got the camera itself. Now I'm just looking at the <laughs> I'm just looking at the back of the box here to look at instructions for how to detach the blessed thing um, from the packaging. And um, it looks like we lift this and then we slide this or we squeeze and slide squeeze and slide aha there it is fantastic such a small camera i really didn't expect it to be quite so small but it's tiny i guess that would weigh um probably only a little bit more than my head torch when i'm wearing it on my head um so i'm really pleased with how uh, with how compact this thing is um of course it's currently attached to um a, a mount of um, of some description which doesn't need to stay on. Um, what I'm going to do is um, have a read through um, the instructions very quickly, um, find out how to set this thing up. All right, well that didn't take long. I've done a little bit of reading and found out a little bit about how this all works. Um, for a start, this mount which the um, which the camera is currently attached to. 
um, it's very easy to remove. I simply unscrew this thumb screw on the side, which comes completely out. I'm then able to detach that particular mount. And then the camera looks uh, a little bit like this. You can see these two little appendages sticking down here for obviously attaching that mount again, or different mounts. But the cool thing is they just fold away, making that a nice, neat little, uh, little package there. Um, in order to insert the battery, there's a compartment on the um, left-hand edge of the camera as you look at it, which um, pulls down to unlock and then simply opens up oh, and detaches, apparently. Um, in here is where the battery goes. So um, here's a little battery that came with the thing. We'll pop that in there. And before I put the cover back on, it's in here also um, that the SD card goes. Now, if I just pop the camera down there for a second, I have, of course, bought an SD card. I've gone for a SanDisk Extreme. It's a micro SD card that this thing takes, and this is a 64 gig one. Um, so I'm going to open this up um, and um, and then pop the SD card in as well. I'm just going to pause the cam for a second because I realise I haven't brought any scissors with me. I need some scissors to open this thing. So just one second. All right, I've got the scissors and I've been able to now um, get the memory card, the SD card, out of its packaging. Tiny little thing, this, um, which slots in here. I've actually removed the battery um, just to give me access to be able to put the memory card in first. Um, I've looked at the instructions and I think it tells me that it's this way around that it goes. That seems to have uh, that seems to have gone home quite nicely. And then pop the battery back in. And then close the whole thing back up again. And then lock it in place. There we go. Very neat. So for the first time, I suppose I'll be turning it on. Looks like a power button here on the side. Ah, it looks like there's a... Looks like there's a cover um, on the screen, which is going to need to come off because it's got a picture of a bicycle on it. And I do not do a lot of cycling. So that's come off. Wow, we're away. Little GoPro logo has appeared, I guess, as it's initialising. Asks me if I want to have my language as English. The answer is yes. Legal stuff, better agree to that. GPS captures the location where your videos and photos are taken. Um, I'm actually not that bothered about that, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, GoPro app. Install the GoPro app on your phone to finish the setup. Leave your camera on and follow the app instructions. Well, I have actually installed the app, and it is right here on this phone which is filming this video of me opening my GoPro. So I'm going to have to stop filming for just a couple of moments whilst I um, start up the GoPro app and finish this setup. Alright guys, well um, this footage is coming from the GoPro itself. First time I'm actually doing any filming with it. Hope it's coming out okay. Down here is uh, my phone um, on a tripod which is what I normally use for all of my filming and on the phone you might be able to tell is the image coming from the GoPro because the um, the GoPro app is currently open on the phone and it allows you to take control of the GoPro from the phone effectively giving me a monitor to work with so that I can frame shots and that kind of thing and behind um, my phone um, is another package which has yet to be opened because of course I couldn't just buy the GoPro and not get some accessories to go with it I need to be able to mount it um, on uh, on a tripod for one thing but there's um, other options too um, mounting on my head mounting on my chest a couple of things that I want to do there maybe mounting on a landing net pole um, if I ever catch anything um, that would be really cool so um, next thing I'm going to do is um, open up this package and show you what's inside Sorry guys, just one thing quickly before I show you opening that other package with the accessories in is um, a couple of cool features which I've just found out about about the GoPro. Um, one of which is this. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, stop recording. 
voice activated. How cool is that? So if my hands are completely tied up and I can't get to the uh, I can't get to the um, record button, I can just use my voice instead. Same works for still images as well. So if I'm uh, holding a fish and and uh, perhaps I want a still photograph to be taken, I can do that too. The other one that I want to show you is um, if I turn this off. You can see it says it's powering off. I'll put that down there. And it's this, with the camera turned off, with the GoPro turned off, so let's imagine um, I'm asleep um, on the bed chair in the middle of the night and I get a take. I don't need to turn it on, I just need to press the record button and it goes into instant record mode. So straight away that's filming and when I stop recording, it will stop and then power itself off again. And... Uh, maybe after I've got the fish back I can go back to sleep but yeah a couple of cool little features there that I'm really uh, that I'm really impressed with so um, yeah let's have a look what's in this package over here I'm actually filming this from two angles which is something which uh, I really wanted to start doing for um, for my videos for the channel um, so perhaps it's something I can do in the future in uh, in nicer surroundings um, but here is the package I received in the post. Got it from Amazon, ordered it the same day of course that I bought the GoPro. So I've just gone out of shot there while I take the cellophane off. So let's see what's inside. So I've got this sort of like ruggedized case which has got some foam inserts inside, which, wow, has got an awful lot of stuff in it. Okay, so first thing I can see straight away is this is a like crocodile clip type situation where you can, like a peg, where you can peg your GoPro onto whatever, which um, seems like a really handy thing, which I'll probably carry with me when I go fishing. Um, it's also got in here, gosh, that looks like a wrist strap, perhaps, for the GoPro, I think. A wrist strap there. Uh, a suction cup, for if I wanted to suck it onto the glass of a car or something like that, whilst I'm driving along, pretty cool. A huge bag of assorted mounts. Within there, I can see there are a couple of tripod mounts, um, which is good because I'll be wanting to use the GoPro on my a proper tripod from time to time so um, I'll have to have a look through all of this in more detail. I think uh, like in there there's a clamp as well, hopefully you can see this this clamp here. I mean and that looks like it's probably designed for a bicycle but it looks like it would go on a landing net pretty well to be honest, on a landing net handle um, which is something I'm quite interested in doing and if this thing is as waterproof as it says it is I'll be able to dunk it underwater as well which would be really cool for release shots and uh, and that kind of thing which I really like the idea of but as I say I'm going to have to go through this properly and um, work out what's what um, and I won't do that while the camera's rolling because um, it would just be really boring. A uh, selection of adhesive mounts there for if I want to actually stick with like glue um, my GoPro onto something, onto a surface. I can't imagine myself actually using those to be honest but we'll see. And there's more. Um, another strap. Honestly, don't, don't know what for. Maybe it's a replacement wrist strap. Looks like it's got some Velcro on it there so for easy on off perhaps. Um, here, uh, I think this is a helmet strap, this one, for mounting the GoPro on, um, on a bicycle helmet or something like that. Oh, what have we here? Some more adhesive pads. <laughs> okay, and I really don't know what for. And um, I don't think this came with a great deal of instructions. Oh, there's a tiny little instruction booklet here, which um, I'll probably have a read through at some stage. Um, yeah, not really sure what half this stuff is, to be honest. Aha, now this, I recognize. This is the chest mounts um, for mounting the thing um, here on my chest. I think it goes that way around, actually, here on my chest for be handy for if I'm wearing a head torch um, I, I can then have this uh, the camera rolling on my chest if I needed to or wanted to um, this will be the head mounts 
so um, just like a head torch that would go on, um, really useful bit of kit I think. A selfie stick, uh, <laughs> which extends a selfie stick, <laughs> wicked. Might use that I suppose, if I want to walk along and um, hold the camera out away from my body a bit. Uh, that is, do you know what, I don't really know, it's a spongy, spongy floating mount of some description. Gonna definitely have to read the instructions about that, weird and wonderful stuff comes in this kit I'll tell you. Uh, okay yeah this is a floating mount um, which um, I guess you'd use if you were like canoeing or swimming or something like that, oh, I don't know. Um, uh, a floating handle might be useful, don't want it to sink to the bottom of the lake bed. And the thing that I knew it came with that I was kind of waiting to find in the bottom of this package is um, this tripod, little octopus tripod, um, which looks like it'll be a really handy bit of kit for on the bank because these legs bend and twist and so forth. And you can wrap it around things like a fence post or a tree trunk or a tree, well not a tree trunk, but a tree branch certainly. Um, yeah, it feels like that'll be quite a useful thing to have, um, I think, um, along with the, probably the, uh, the chest mount, um, the head strap, and this, um, and this clip thing here are going to be the ones that I'm getting the most use out of, um, along with this, um, octopus tripod thing. So, I've got all the gear, but as usual, I've really got no idea, to be honest. I need to work it all out and cut this down too. I'm not going to take all this stuff fishing with me, am I? I mean, the GoPro is tiny, which is great, which makes it really movable, um, uh, easy, to, easy to transport. But if I have to lug around all of this stuff, then it sort of loses its appeal in that regard. So uh, I'll work out what I'm actually going to be taking fishing with me. I might probably, whatever I end up deciding, I might probably still end up using this case um, as a uh, as a sort of like way of keeping the bits and pieces safe um, while I'm while I'm travelling. I mean, it's relatively flat. Would go in the top of my um, would go in the top of my big um, carry all um, that I use for fishing, or in my backpack. It would slot in there for on those shorter sessions when I'm using my rucksack. All right, I couldn't resist it. Had to try out the. Uh had to try out the head mount. Um, that's it guys, that's it for this part of the film anyway. Um, I'm hoping this won't be a standalone film. Um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get out and actually catch a fish and um, get a bit of that action um, on the camera too for this for this short film. For this short film, um, just to show you this stuff in action. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been fun out here in the shed, but honestly, it's starting to get a bit cold now. I'm gonna get back in the house where I belong. Cheers.